Praise be Jesus Christ, Ave Maria, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This will be short and sweet, pun intended. You'll know what I mean in a moment. Saint Jose Maria Estrela wrote, The day you leave the table without some small mortification, you have eaten like a pagan. What does he mean by this? Very often we leave the table having overeaten, becoming satiated, therefore heavy and unable to pray or to go about the Lord's work. Even those of us who are living according to a rule of fasting are tempted to overeat or overindulge in, uh, in sensory pleasures when we do break the fast. Now it is true, as Father Adalbert de Volgue wrote, that fasting is not so much about how much you eat as when you eat. And we break our fast according to the day and the season, according to the feast day or fast day, according to the canonical hours. I've covered this in previous videos. But the temptation for the faster is to overeat, or even more so maybe to engage in foods that are too salty or too sweet, in, in drinks that are too sweet, sugary drinks, or drinks that are caffeinated. This is a great temptation. And in doing so, we have to ask ourselves, are we really mortifying our appetites? Are we mortifying our sense of taste? Remember, we fast in order to silence the body in order that we can in order that we could hear the voice of the spirit more readily and so we mortify the flesh so that the spirit will gain ascendancy in order that we could live in the realm of the spirit and so fasting is an ancient christian tradition but mortifying the sense of taste is also an ancient christian tradition so one thing to bear in mind as i say ancient christian tradition is are we overindulging when we do break the fast? Are we eating things that are too savory, especially for the season? Are we eating things that are too salty or too sweet? Are we drinking things that are caffeinated? Are we craving the caffeine? Are we craving the sugar? Are we craving the salt, etc.? That's it. Thank you.